I can't say good morning because it's not morning, it's evening, but uh, we got up so early this morning at Christine's and we really would just rush to get out of the house a little bit, didn't do the book as we call it, so, but essentially we started just on the other page, um, but she took us back to, to Danielsville where she picked us up. And then pretty much as you see, straight across today, but all rock, absolutely all rock. 15 miles of rock. And, um, and the original plan was to do 11 miles because we didn't know what time we'd get on the trail. Turns out we got on at 6.30, so we decided to do the whole 15, got to Wind Gap, and uh, staying, in, not at the Gateway Hotel, but on the lawn in front of the Gateway Hotel. And then we'll uh, catch you all up on the details with the end of the day. So here we are. We're saying goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and we're heading out back to back to the yeah, yeah. back at it. Yeah, okay. it's uh, just about quarter. And then to I'll seven. see you again. To yeah, they're going to join us yeah. in Branchville four days. in four days and hike with us for a little while. So you get to see Christine and Todd again. Yeah, we didn't show much of Todd, but. We'll get them on Wednesday. Next time, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. Right. You're welcome. Thank you. Right. The start's a pretty trail. Yeah. Let's hope it stays that way and it's kind to us. Sun's coming up. There's yeah. another hiker out there already. Yeah, we've had two days off again, so we've got to reintroduce our feet to the to the trail. Yeah, Pete's nice. Only 11 miles today. You know, two days off and we're having a hard time figuring out how to walk on all this again. <laughs> this is really nice. This one has rock steps going all the way up. We come across a lot of stuff on the trail. This one's pretty funny. The shoe's just sitting on a rock with rocks in the shoe just to make sure someone will see it if they lost it. And that looks like one heavy shoe. It's my good morning. Now this time I walked right in front of him and at least took the quick hop around before I realized he was there. I jumped forward instead of backwards. Fortunately. Yes, thank goodness. Look at he's moving. My gosh, we're just snake attractors. Here's Pete in his new chair. Looks comfortable. Living a good life. <laughs> he's living a good life. I'm on my Tyvek. I cut a new piece from since we had a different tent shipped. So I cut a wider, shorter piece. Last one was too long and skinny. And we're gonna open the snack pouch up. And take out this delicious trail mix that Christine got us. Look at my gloves. I've only had them on for six miles. That tells me that my pole handles are filthy. So, how was your first break in your chair, Pete? Uh, so far, the chair is worth the extra pound. All right, there you go. Much more comfortable on the brakes, absolutely. We've been sat there talking to people for quite some time on the trail. Too long, but yeah, too long, right. but we're having a short day too. Yeah, so six okay. people. Okay, see ya. Six miles in from Lehigh Gap, well, six and a half, and we're getting a break. I really hope that it does stay like this. This is wonderful. Well, maybe not. It might already be gone. <laughs> Bummer. Second one in one day. At least his head is off the trail. And we're just going to walk around the back. Giving him a wide berth. There's really nothing to film today. We have no view. We're in the middle of the woods. So, just to let you know. Well, we made it to Leroy Smith Shelter. 115. This was going to be our stop for the day. Only go 11 miles. And uh, we're going to go on. We decided we're going to go to Wind Gap, and there's a hotel there that's booked up. It's a tiny little shelter, but they let you um, camp, put a tent up in the yard, and use their bathroom. This is pretty much what we've been walking through all day. I keep hoping that maybe it's going to stop, something will change, and maybe for a couple feet it does, and then it's back again. Here's the view. We came out of those woods. We're going in those. And there's the view. And my apologies. My lens is full of sunscreen again. I'm tired. 
We're 13 miles in and we've got a couple more to go. Rocks are rough today. They're rough every day. Almost at 15 miles. Clouding up, but I hope it does clear up before we get down to set our tent up. I think we have the last half mile's uh, descent. We'll find out. Meantime, I'm going to go over all these. Okay, so we're walking down this highway to get to this hotel where we're going to sleep in their yard. <laughs> and hopefully there's enough room. Turns out that far outside there's only enough space for four to five tents, and we know of probably seven to eight people who are showing up there. So we'll see what happens. That's the motel entrance. Wait, I lost the sign. Gateway Motel. Supposed to be able to tent somewhere out there. Let's see where. This is inside our tent. And as you can see, food's in there, but we're, we're in front of that hotel. I mean, I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. We but can hang here. We can? Okay, so Pete might hang here. And then uh, you can see we have room on each side of the mattress, so... I put my bag here so the pad, if it slides, it'll hit that. But see the gap in between? There's a lot more room in this tent. We'll see what happens when it rains, though. So there's our tent right next to a busy highway. We don't care. We're so tired. <laughs> We're going to sleep there. Pete's up there making our dinner. I'm going to go back up to the office and get some ice for Pete. Here we are in our Z Pack <coughs> Tri our triplex. Triplex. Yeah. Allegedly a three person guy. I like to see three small people. <laughs> three <laughs> sleeping bags right uh, there. Yeah, really. But uh, the, what it does give us is room for all the gear inside. And we've used this tent before. Um, so, uh, good tent. And so, our new digs. And we're, as you'll probably hear as the cars go by, right next to a highway. Busy Literally road. on the front lawn to Gateway Motel, which is basically a resident motel now. I don't think he has any rooms that he lets out on a nightly basis. It looks, from the looks of things, they're all permanent or long-term residents. But he does allow hikers to use the bathroom in the office. Flush toilet, nice clean and, bathroom. Uh, and there's water outside uh, that you can pull up on, which it's hard to come by in this part of the world. Oh, gosh. On the trail. We have to have enough water for our whole entire day tomorrow. Yeah, and today, too. It's like yeah. we had to pack the whole day's water. So, um, and usually we're so damn tired at the end of the day that the car noise isn't going to bother us. And so Sleep it doesn't right last all it. night, anyway, on these roads. So uh, our dinner's cooking, and uh, we're going to get ready to eat and then call it at a night. What, yeah. what do you got? I don't think I have anything. Yeah, not, I had something. I can't think of it. It's, not a whole lot today because it was just it was an all rock trail. It was a snaky day. Uh, snaky day, as you saw, but uh, really nothing but rock. I mean, just a flat yeah, trail with a lot of rock. 15 miles of rock. And, um, and, we, and we Pete had a, has an injured foot. And Lisa's just getting over her injured feet. So. Yeah. Oh, that's what I should say. My yeah. feet felt the best they have ever felt since I had my new shoes today. Yeah. The blisters are still healing, but not painful. Yeah. So good. now I have to take care of Pete. That's why I got him bag of ice. <laughs> okay. All right. We're good. Yeah, All right. I think we're good. Okay. Talk to you tomorrow. All right. Good night.